in five, okay. four, three, two, one. The face of medical school has certainly changed since my days there. But don't take my word for it. They want to have children, they want to get married, but they want to be a surgeon. Half the classes were dedicated to teaching us how to retrieve that information rather than giving us information. Oh, I mean, I'm in debt hugely like, <laughs> like most of my class. Everything's going to be changing all the time and we really need to be able to keep up on it and, and read. And Even more so now with personalized medicine, that is delivering more targeted care because of a person's unique genetics. Drug developers, basic scientists, public health, even patients are at the table. Now, I keep hearing that medical students and medical schools and doctors are the last at the table. I say, where are the doctors? Most uh, physicians are very resistant to radical change. And I think innovation does get through. It's just that it doesn't happen as fast as it should. There are some tests that are available that we do in the hospital for certain enzyme deficiencies or things like that. It's slowly being incorporated, I think, slowly, but I know there's a long way to go. As a former dean myself, I wanted to take this question to their dean. It needs to be integrated. They need to learn. And, and the ultimate shift, and I know you've written about this, uh, Dr. Healy, is it, it really begins to think about wellness. And I think we will recruit those young people with a prevention focus. It warmed my heart that these students grasp the art of medicine. I think the art of medicine is you're using your experience, but you don't necessarily know if it really is working and you have to kind of tweak it to personalize needs. Communicating with people on the personal level. You have to remember that this is a person and they have a life outside of your clinic and they have problems just like everybody else. Now let's get to a very delicate issue which has to do with indebtedness of medical students. <sighs> is this a problem for any of you? Yes. <laughs> we come into it with our eyes open that we know we're going to go into a lot of debt. I think it is a problem for a lot of medical students. Sometimes debt influences choices. You look to, to find a career that makes a little bit more money and it's, it's unfortunate. And in lower paying fields like primary care can be difficult to repay those steep educational loans. I, I live on loans for the past few years and you know, it's, it's, it's a bad uh, situation you know, that most of us are in. And what did the dean have to say? of having medical students graduate with $250,000 of debt. I lose which sleep over that. 20% will essentially be almost a quarter of a million dollars in debt. 20%. In my experience, despite the debt, the hard work, the long years of training, medicine is a fulfilling way of life. To these students and the thousands who seek medical school admission every year, it is well worth the sacrifice. The future of American <laughs> medicine is right here. That's scary, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah.